Developing in Southern Arizona, the Douglas Unified School District announced just yesterday that it will at least temporarily be going back to distance learning due to continued COVID related issues. News 4 Tucson, Eric Fink joining us live from Douglas with more on the district's decision and why one parent is not convinced it's the right move. Eric. Priscilla, Sean, distance learning here starts tomorrow. The superintendent tells us this move had to be done because the number of absences over the last couple of weeks is staggering. One parent we spoke with says she understands the safety concerns, but it doesn't mean she's happy. Tanya Gonzalez found out about the switchback to virtual learning just 24 hours ago. I don't approve of them giving us such last minute notice. I need to see if my mother will be available to watch my son and my niece and nephew who are also attending the school district as well. Her son Ronaldo is a freshman at Douglas High. She was disappointed to learn the district is going back to distance learning temporarily until the first part of February. Tanya contends the virtual classroom leaves much to be desired. Some of them from personal experience, um, including my son, sit in front of the camera with video games playing in the background, playing games on their telephone, set up computers in front of the TV and are playing PlayStation, Xbox. The district starts distance learning Friday for two weeks. Things turned drastically yesterday, just in the course of hours. Douglas Unified Superintendent Ana Samaniego says right now there are more than 100 teachers or staff members who are either COVID positive or out of class waiting on test results. And this makes staffing classrooms very difficult. To the point where you have pulling staff within your campus, and that could be a secretary, that could be a security guard, that could be just any person that could supervise kids in a classroom or having to combine two to three classrooms all together to provide that supervision. San Diego hopes this move will slow the spread, but Tanya is not convinced it's the right call. Find a better way to keep students safe. Distant learning is only giving the students more variety to be out and going on vacation instead of staying isolated at home. Bear with us, cooperate with us. Please understand that this is not easy. And we plan on resuming in person in two weeks because we know that's where kids belong. Now, virtual learning starts here district-wide tomorrow. It goes through February 5th. In-person classes set to resume, at least for the moment, on Tuesday, February 8th. And during this time, the district will still provide breakfast and lunch through the Grab and Go program and Meals on Wheels. We're live in Douglas tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.